know, so close. Oh god! These, these songers always seem to sneak up oh on god. me. They always seem like they're they're super far away, and then the next thing you know, they're like, oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, jeez, we have a uh, we have some things we got to get done. But right now, we got Void versus Nitro. And before we get into that, I just want to give everyone a big thank you for signing up for a Smash Four Saga. Uh, you know, it's it's been something we wanted to do for quite a while. Everyone. Especially with like all the hate that Smash 4 was getting, we weren't sure if it was going to be successful. But we have oh, close to 1,100 attendees on the Smash.gg page. So. Yeah, I mean, it was a free, completely free registration for Why today not, right? only, right? So if you, I day mean, is not over. I'm pretty sure we've had stuff like that before. Go register. But we've never hit 1,100 entries. That's what I mean, dude. <laughs> but That's yeah, wild. you know, it's going to be the last chance for, for Cloud Hype. Uh, all the bayonets are gonna come back. Somehow I feel Sheik's like Sheik's gonna be in there. I feel like this is a bait and switch somehow. What are you talking about? I don't know. Man. Why? What's the real saga? Smash Four saga. Huh? Well, we can't do bayonetta saga or anything like that. God, man, why are we? <laughs> what? Are you? We are did you? do a bayonetta saga, are you? didn't we? Not fresh four? saga. But that, that was no, that wasn't bayonetta saga. That was Am I not saga. four? <laughs> Smash you, Four. Yeah, you know what about Smash Four? Smash 4 was great when it was, <laughs> when it had its time. <laughs> Smash 4 had its time. That's all. That's all. That's how I feel. <laughs> Dude, I can't look at that ridiculous knockback. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm well, just like, what is that? Yeah. I'm sure it's fun to play. You gotta. But I'm not gonna go back to play it until someone forces me to. <laughs> you gotta learn to to like it again. <gasps> oh God. I mean, how are you gonna know when someone's like been launched off the screen if they're actually going to? Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna be so confused, dude. Like every time they start to drift uh, off, oh. <gasps> is that it? Nope. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> but it, to me, it's confusing now because it looks like because of how slow the, the knockback is, it looks like they're never gonna die, and then they die. But that I feel like I have that feeling with every Smash game. Yeah. Every time a new one comes That's out, I'm true. like, I look back at the old one, like, oh, it's true. Game launch so weird. <laughs> it is true. Are you seeing the way that like melee gets launched? Yeah. They're in hit stun for so long. I don't. I can never tell. It's like they're just stuck, and they're they're in the bubble zone. I'm confused they're like, sometimes. There is some some moves that just like straight up kill as well, and they like die really like slow off the top of my. Like, oh what? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone knew like yeah, of course that kills. Like, <laughs> yeah, so oh sure. well, he was up there for like five seconds. So, <laughs> anyways, yeah, GSM Void and Nitro or CLG, GSM Void and Nitro. Yeah, of course, two, no. two players getting the thumbs up here from the stream runner, and we're gonna get the thumbs up starting game number one between GSM Void and Nitro on Smashville of all the stages. God. Yeah, Yoshi is of course being. <laughs> I meant Yoshi. Yeah, but... <laughs> you know, it's very similar to Smashville though. It has the yeah. pipe, the big center platform. Uh, the only thing that it does that Smashville doesn't is it has these curves uh, on the actual layout of the stage. But Nitro have been performing very well recently. He just won um, Wednesday Night Fights last week. Oh, man. Yeah. That's an easy stock for Void right there. Uh, Nitro not able to recover there. Um, one thing about this stage that I would say is, like, if um, if his opponent is standing by the ledge and Nitro is standing um, center stage, it pretty much levels it out so that because Pichu is such a small character, like, He's a little bit higher up, so he's going to be a little bit easier to hit if he's holding down the center. But very true, very on the, true. On the other hand, like he's also going to be harder to hit if Pichu's standing in the center <laughs> and he's standing on the outside. Well, I know one situation like, that Nitro gets a lot of stocks from, he gets a lot of mileage from this trap, is the Holy Water uh, at the ledge. It's going to be a lot harder to set up the Holy Water at the ledge just because of the angles that the ledges have, and especially it being so short, um, close to the ledge. Yeah. And I mean... He, a lot Ooh. of projectile characters like this stage, and that's not going to be enough with the forward smash. Whoa! He, he no, the jump. he jumped into it. That was like, he, he, he hypnoed him he right to. into that. He had to, though, because he wasn't going to make it back otherwise anyways. If he, if, he, if, he, if he waited to use his jump to like avoid that hitbox, then he would have he would have just been too low to, to make it back. Would he, he wouldn't have been able to tether maybe, from that low? Maybe, I feel like he maybe would with have. A, maybe with, an, with the uh, Oh, good setup. Like he was still able to land the holy water at the ledge. He Woo! does have to expend a jump, but just like that, the holy water into F smash, yeah. you know, the bread and butter of all the Belmonts. And you can see that's still going to be an option here on this stage for Richter. Um, 
this stage typically like nerfing ledge trapping for most characters and that's going to be the drag down into the kill void making haste on this last stock not taking too much damage and taking that game number one those thunder setups from pichu are so strong yeah because Thunder from Scary. Pichu will always send the direction in which Pichu is He's facing, facing yeah. instead Busted. of like Pikachu where it sends on whatever Why? side you got hit on. I mean, hey, he, he's so cuddly. He needs that. I guess. But yeah, I think uh, <laughs> if anything, I feel like I feel like Void like didn't ban Yoshi's Island, and and Nitro probably knows that that's like one of Richter's like better stages, and took him there, and didn't end up working out too well for him. You think Yoshi's is one of Richter's better stages? I, just because of what I was saying earlier, I just like was looking at it, and I'm just like, oh, even even uh, his ledge trapping still works, like which is w one of the problems most people have with the stages that like right, you can't right. ledge trap there, and like Richter can angle his F smash mm -hmm. to hit perfectly, and it hits below the ledge already. Right, so right. Honestly, just from the amount of games I've seen uh, Nitro play. Uh, and especially with the way that he traps at the ledges, I would say Battlefield and um, Kalos are his strongest stages. Like his win rate on Kalos is stupidly high. <laughs> if imagine. if you do research on your opponents, you one thing to look at is like their stage picks and then their win rates on those stage picks. That's a really good stat to have on your opponent. And uh, as you can see, Void definitely has that knowledge. Oh, he's gone. He's gone and Void using that knowledge to completely destroy Nitro on that first stock, only taking 33% here. A lot of that may just be from his own usage of attacks like that. Quick attack uh, has an electrical property, so it's going to be self-harming. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick attack getting around the ledge trap. And I like that, just taking the glass. Oh, he has, oh, but the directional air yeah. dodge. While I picked up the holy water, didn't give him enough time to make it back to stage. And Nitro, Nitro pulling himself right back into the game, actually securing a slight lead here. But Void not gonna let it up that easily. Yeah, I mean, Pichu, like Pikachu, does have the option to stand back and toss out Thunder Jolts, but he is taking damage uh, while he decides that he wants to space. Right, dead even percents, even stocks for both players. Nitro just kind of spacing out his aerials, trying to retreat as much as he can. Um, but, like his best option is just to kind of cross up Pichu and like hit him with like a retreating back air, uh, just until he can create enough space to really get the rest of his projectiles out. But really, it's looking so hard because of how uh, quick Pichu is. Oh my god, that was such a nice setup. A able to air dodge it. But yeah, because of how quick Pichu is, he um, he really can't ever get the space. As, as we've seen, we haven't really seen too much of the cross or even the axe in particular, which is probably the slowest move. Right. And that's just going to be uh, something that, that all the Richters have to deal with uh, when they're going against rushdown characters, but a very aggressive down air at a fairly low percent Richter. Yeah.